Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial of ViewConstruct. Um, in this tutorial I'm going to talk about templates. So templates are prefabs that hold sockets and conditions that you choose. And the thing about templates is that after you create those, you can have certain buildings to have those templates. And, the, and when you edit the template, all of the buildings that have the template are going to have the most updated one. So basically it's a way to have uh, um, certain sockets and conditions always updated through certain game object. So if you have certain certain buildings that needs to have the same conditions or sockets and you want to change something you don't have to always go back for each one and change it individually so how do we use templates let's see templates are very very useful the thing about templates is that it's very easy to create and very easy to add to any existing building it's also very very easy to um, update it on all of the buildings so let's grab one of the buildings in the scene click on the templates button here and we're gonna have a, build, uh, a little UI popped up. The templates window in here just shows the templates that are on this specific building. This window in here shows uh, basically the uh, editing view or the creating view. So if I go ahead and click on the create a new template, we will be able to create a template in here. The template name is going to be basic conditions. What I'm going to create here is certain conditions that are going to be on basically every building and when I update the template, it's going to update on all of the all of the buildings that I did put the template on. So let's do let's do collision check condition and check for ground. And in here, what we're gonna do is create. And in this dialog, we basically check: Do you want to add this condition after you create straight away to this template, or do you not want to do that? So I'm gonna go ahead and click yes. And there you go; it's here. Now, if you hold Control, you can remove this. Uh, we're not going to remove it though. Uh, the templates when they are created, they are basically being childed into the building. So they're just going to be here. So let's go ahead and save that. Actually, I'm not going to save that actually right now. Um, you've still only created a template. If I go ahead and just remove it, there you go. Pretty simple. Now, what we're going to do next is show you where it's saved. It's actually saved in the templates folder in here. So you can create, you can delete it, edit it as you like, uh, nothing too special. And I'm going to show you how it updates all of, the, all of the buildings that have the templates. So let's get the, sorry, let's get the pillar into the scene for example here. And let's get, I don't know, the cube into the scene. Actually, sorry. So if I go ahead and add a template in here, let's add an existing template, basic conditions, choose, and there it is. Save. As you can see, there it is. In here we can also add a chest. So, uh, templates. And there it is. You can see it's a bit tiny because of position differences, but you can scale it, you can position it one time and it will, it will save uh, for all the time. So, save that as well. Now here's the cool thing about it. Let's go ahead and, uh, templates it doesn't really matter what we're doing, but let's go ahead and uh, remove this collision check from here. Let's say we don't want the collision check to be in this certain template. So it changes. And as you see, it's going to be removed from here. We also we only have check for ground. Now we can save this if you want. We don't have to, but I want to save anyways. And now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get this into the scene. This one. You can see it's not updated here, right? Now I'm gonna do two things. I wanna show this I wanna show it in here because um I want to show you that even stuff on the scene gets updated automatically, which is a pretty cool thing. So if I go ahead and do in here, uh, you construct, and I do in here, uh, update templates. As you can see in here, the most the most updated uh, template is already in here. So you can see it just uh, update our change and it removed the check for the uh, check collision uh, condition. So I can save this. Doesn't matter. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you is um, a really cool thing. Now, the thing about this all, that what you can do is, if you go ahead and grab this into here, and, you know, just remove this completely. There's actually two things you can do in here. You can just remove this uh, normally as well, which is pretty cool. You don't have to do this um, the old way. You can just basically remove this, go back in here, and it was removed. So this is a pretty cool thing and a pretty cool feature of that. Uh, they can just remove it normally like that. You don't need to go into here, uh, old uh, control and stuff. It's it's a pretty cool feature, I guess. So, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, let's remove it in here if you want. 
I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have anything you didn't understand make sure to email me in the support and I will make sure I will be sure to help you so yeah have a great